All right, Lone Stars, it's uh, Friday night, and uh, you're in the lab with Coach Brock. We're going to look over uh, some of the Wolverines' uh, formations and uh, tendencies and try to break this uh, film down. And I'm going to do a quick test here. Hopefully you can see my red dot on the screen here. I want to try to identify some personnel uh, in this set. Uh, starting off here. We've got our um, tight end here on the right side of offense to our left, so strong left. You've got quarterback and the pistol, tailback, fullback. There's a split end over here and a flanker right here off the screen. So right now, we're playing, we're playing our regular green. We'd have our tackle and three technique in, head up. To the outside eye of this tight end backside our nose is going to be a shade on the center then we've got a outside eye on the tackle here with our uh, rover is going to be walked down you know here in the box so we got our rover here our Sam linebacker our Mike linebacker that would be our, our nickel back with a corner out, outside and uh, outside eye cover three, a corner here, outside eye cover three. Our deep safety would be more in the middle of the field. There, um, you got a hash mark here, hash mark over there. So it's, it's sort of in the middle of the field here. So right now, we'd be in our regular green uh, coverage with uh, red walk down in the box. We're going to be showing eight man against this look. Uh, what you're going to see here first off is they're going to do a shift. So I'll go ahead and let it run. And you'll see the tight end and the tailback shifted out to where we have a trips now. So let me pause it there. So what we're gonna do, whenever we see trips, like we talked about the other day, we're gonna roll out and have our corner come down to about five yards here over the outside receiver, outside eye. Then you're gonna have a uh, number two, number three here in the slot. So what I want is a Sam linebacker to split the difference between that number three receiver and the tackle and you're going to be working your your uh, hook to curl. Then we're going to bring the rover down. You guys are going to be at different levels so if the corner is back rover you're going to be up on number two and then the uh, the Sam backer here would be uh, his normal area about five yards off splitting the difference. So when we do, when we see trips, we're going to call our, um, our coverage is going to be called Molly. Molly, 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 Molly. That's going to be a flat coverage to where our, uh, we're going to read the routes, but if anybody breaks, if number three or number two breaks out to the flat, the Rover's got that. The corner's going to have deep third with our backer working to hook the curl zone here. So that's going to be Molly, and you're going to always have your free safety working over over to the trip side. He won't be in the middle of the field per se. He'd be over pretty much on this hash. Like well, this guy's a pretty good, pretty good alignment here on this hash. They're playing cover too, but I'll bring you over to the hash. And what'll happen is uh, on the backside tray or a nickelback, the corner's gonna go ahead. You got him man up like Rip Liz match. He goes vertical. You got him. He comes inside. You yell under. They'll tell this uh, nickelback that he's coming. And he'll he'll play the under underneath route. You'll still have deep third then. If he goes underneath in the first five yards, the corner you're playing deep third. If he goes anything else, you got him man to man. So we want to try to bait them into the, they're going to go trips and come back side and try to run a slant. They're going to run right into this nickelback. Even though he's back here, you're going to be attacking. As soon as you see him come under you, you under under under. Let's get him. So in any event, start off in green. They slide over in motion or shift in the trips. Our coverage is Molly. It's still cover three. We just let everybody know that we got a guy in the flat, guy hooked the curl in the corner, uh, deep third, with our middle of field safety working over to the trip side. That's going to leave you guys two on one backside. And then it's going to leave this back to deal with that back. Okay? So let's go ahead and run it. And you'll see that the, the design of this play is to get everybody spread out and then come back with some crack blocks on these three receivers and get this guy outside. You can give a cheap play action fake, and here he comes trying to get outside. So the key is our defensive end, whether it be Frank, Norwood, 
uh, Josh Black, Pantrum. You go ahead and see that see that play action. You go ahead and squeeze, but maintain your outside leverage. It's like a read option. Or we could do uh no, we can't do that right now. You just go ahead and stay your your, uh, your outside leverage and make sure he doesn't come out the backside. Here we go. There's a fake, the 17. He's there, but he hesitated and missed the play. But in any event, no game. All right, so here we go. Second play of the game. They come out again, number 11. Number 11 is going to be your tight end. So what we got here, we've got a uh, strong right, pro right set, eye formation, eye right. We got our, uh, our split in, our, excuse me, our flanker, our split in out here, fullback, tailback, strong right. And here we go. We're going to line up in green. Basic coverage, you're going to be in three, shaded the nose. And here we go. They're going to go back to weak side, try to run a weak side ISO. It's blown up. I think this guy y'all always talk about, this number 61, is on the weak side. He's going to always be over here. So next play, same formation. All right. We're going to run outside, sort of a stretch. Here he comes. How did he get outside? Well, let's take a look. He got outside because of that end, whether it be Josh Black, Noah Wood, Frank, Pantrum. You guys cannot get hooked make sure I didn't push the wrong button here okay here we go let's rewind it back and let's just watch the technique of this defensive end you saw him hesitate a minute ago and miss a sack now he's got eye right and watch what he does pretty big guy and number 11 handling first thing he's already standing up so knees aren't bent He's not ready to explode on the snap. Standing straight up. False step. Watch that first step. Ah, damn it. Back to the think the stretch play. No, second play. Weak side ISO. Here we come. We're going to have a stretch play. He's hooked. See that? He's looking in the backfield. Hooked. Fullback got all the way to the, to the linebacker. And around the corner he goes. We can't have that. Cannot have it. What we want is him being an outside lever so you can run free, take out the backer, and the rover can come up and make this play. The backer takes out the fullback, and that should be Red's tackle all day long. You see it? Let's take it back. Let's look at it again. Son of a bitch. All right, back to the second play. All right. Most of the guys that stand up at these ends are lazy. That's why I want your ends in a four-point stand. Eventually, we'll stand up. He got hooked. He got the backer. And around the corner, you went. Around the corner, you went. What we want is outside leverage. Stretch it out. Backer takes out the fullback. Downhill comes red. Hit this guy right in the mouth. You got to see that. Right in the alley. You got to see that. So I'll go ahead and fast forward this thing. I don't know why they faked this punt. But we got to be alert. They may do something crazy, which, which this is. Surely they didn't call that from the sideline. Did he have any pressure? Why did the guy pull the ball down? No reason. That's a fake. He went under pressure. No pressure at all. He just pulled it down. He just pulled the ball down. Yeah, they can't get lined up. Don't know who's on the on punt team. Let's see how these guys try to block anyway. We might be able to go get us one of these. Overload them. Yeah, they're just standing there. Chop, chop, chop. That was ridiculous. But be alert. Be alert. He thought he could, he thought he could sneak and get three or four yards and get a first down. Okay. Let me 
fast forward this thing right quick. these to be too long it'll be hard to post let's see we're at 10 minutes so i'm gonna get this next series and i'll drop this first installment and go upload it and then come back and get another okay little 21 he's got a little wiggle to him a little speed we got to be alert when he comes in the game be alert on 21 and number five here we go again we've got eye right tight end fullback tailback flanker split in basic formation we're going to show our green eight man front Red's going to be right up in this area here. And we're going to be ready to rock and roll. So last time they went uh, ISO weak and then stretch right. That's what they're going to do this time. ISO weak. So, so far out of high right, we got two plays. ISO weak to the left side behind 61. And stretch play. Here we go again. Same formation. All right. Oh, freelance. You can see what happened. You can see what happened. Yeah. They had a run play call. Watch the whole offense. Maybe they have a check where they can do this. I don't know what he thought he saw. Okay. But in some, some offense, they call this a smoke. Where well, they'll go ahead and, uh, and run the, the run play action and going to try to hit a pass. So right now, I don't see any indication why he thought this guy was going to run a go, a go ball. Okay? Yeah. But no, this may be a straight bootleg. The running back wasn't looking for that ball. Let's see here. Yeah, he wasn't. He gave it a little cheap fake. I don't think he's looking for that ball. Yeah, he didn't turn around. He was blocking. He's blocking. They're trying to get this quarterback outside. So this this uh this left defensive end, you gotta be on your money. You gotta be on your money. They're trying to get around this guy. Whoop, here he comes. Yeah, it was a run all day. That was a run all day. That was a run all day because this 80 was blocking. Okay, so we got I right, we've got um ISO left, stretch right, and a little Sort of a naked bootleg or a rollout. So right now, we've got a third and long here. What we got? Third and long. <coughs> Split backs. That's a passing formation 90% of the time. I don't know what's going on here. Nobody's running around and really trying to get this ball. But 90% of the time, that is a pass formation. Split backs, the old pro set. Let's try to watch the route combination corners and safeties. Because again, we'd be in an eight man front here. So Red, you'd be walked all the way down. Let's see, he's trying to hit the other. He, he's definitely blocking. So there, is, there isn't much coordination. Now, look at this guy hustling. He's going to try to get out of there. So our key is to get him on the ground. Don't over-pursue. Stay under control. If he jerks one way, he's going to come back to you. Let's get him on the ground. So that's fourth down right there. Let's pause it there. And I'll cut this film at this point and be back in a flash.